Hello, Leo, my awesome lions and lionesses, as I love to call you. I miss you guys. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Leo, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. You want soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're gonna ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're gonna ask how this person's doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Leo, universe, please, oh yeah. So they hesitating with communication, but they want so badly to clear the air with you. See you, but they so scared of your rejection, judgment, yeah. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Mm. Universe, please show us. The soulmate of Leo and Leo situation. What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Leo, what's popping? No, it's this one over here that wants to show up as extra message. Oh, look how intuitive you are. So you have some people around you that really love you, cherish you in the life, yeah, in the family, because this stands for family, so your family uh, is very important to you, and it should be, because they really love you, which means you love them in return, but there are two people in particular in your family that are a major challenge to you, have been for a while, you see they're showing up here with the snake sign, um, yeah, I know it's hard to let go of toxic relatives because uh, relatives think that they're entitled to be in your life under all circumstances, but sometimes we have to say no and close that door. If you're dealing with toxic relatives, uh, you know they cannot uh, return to you if they are still toxic because it will cause you more setbacks in life. This is you loving yourself, appreciating yourself. This is you dealing with a lot of different emotions. So certain family members worry you and certain family members uplift you. Yeah, so you're trying to find that balance in family situations. So some of those toxic relatives that you've been dealing with for a while that you're trying to separate from, it looks like you're going to have to see them. I don't know if that's um, family reunion or birthday celebrations, whatever it is but you don't have to have them in your life. Yeah, don't let that scare you or paralyze you emotionally. Remember, just because you may have to see them occasionally, maybe once, twice a year, doesn't mean you have to be in their life and you don't have to uh, communicate with them if you don't feel it's the right thing for you. Look how beautiful your energy is. This is you being very independent, wise, strategic, analytical, taking care of yourself, being very responsible, mature, grounded, beautiful, my favorite queen. You're concentrating on yourself right now. You're very connected with the divine, with higher power. Yeah. You know, please show us what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on their summit journey? One of the relatives that you feel so connected with is a Virgo and most likely a female, female Virgo. Like you share such spiritual bonds with that person, no matter who it is. Yeah, wow, heavy. Somebody's entering your life or trying to re-enter your life. Yeah, the person that you let go of or are letting go of feels a lot of guilt, regret, heartbreak for losing you. This is a new person though. This is someone who is 
affectionate, emotionally romantic, shy, also into family. So someone who's capable of long-term relationship. Yeah, you feel so alone. You felt, when you were in a relationship with the soulmate you letting go of, you felt so alone. You felt unloved, unappreciated by them. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, the person that you're letting go of has very hard time admitting to their mistakes, apologizing. Yeah, they don't like to show emotion of vulnerability. They can be very set in their ways. They like to be alpha in control. As much as they're trying to control these emotions that they feel for you over here, uh, they're not able to deny how they feel about you. And they're trying to figure out if there's somebody else in your life. So you are making wise financial decisions for yourself. So money is coming to you. I don't know from where. It could be from anywhere. But some kind of financial abundance, stability showing up here for you. I love it. This is you uh, earning that financial abundance through your good deeds. Yeah. Yeah, you see money showing up here for you. You are not happy with the situation at your job. So it's not the job that you're not happy with. You're very good at what you do. You're very diligent, detailed, a pro at what you do. It's the environment you work in. Yeah, too much drama, gossiping, toxic people. But you know how to work around them. You do. See, there's lots of money at your job because some people are not doing their jobs. They're too busy running around, gossiping making drama for others yeah uh, you know that your co-workers are not your friends they judge your co-workers yeah keep your private life separate from your um, business life yeah your co-workers are just that your co-workers not your friends yes universe please show us what's coming up for leo and how is leo currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah, this is you finding balance in your life, balancing your energy. Wow. So two people of quality showing up here for you. King of Cups and now King of Wands. Yeah, this is you mingling with new people. Um, this is you meeting people of quality through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings. Be careful what you wish for because you're going to get it. So something is going to make you happy. Something is changing drastically this year and next year in your personal life and with your job or business. You see this? Accomplishments, uh, things that will make you happy. You're going to be celebrating accomplishments in your life. I'm so happy for you. You deserve this, Leo. Yeah. You deserve this happy news in your life, these positive changes after you've been through so much and drama from other people that you had to put up with. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate of Leo. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo. And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? The one that showed up as emperor, very, very proud, with a lot of pride. Oh my gosh. So the worst card in the whole deck showed up in position one. So this speaks volumes. This shows me they are absolutely heartbroken, devastated uh, over losing you. Wow, this is heavy because it's showing up in position one, especially. They're trying to balance their emotions. They're trying to not feel this pain, but they feel it. They feel it deeply. A lot of you are letting go of Capricorn, Libra, and the sign of Cancer. So they're trying to distract their mind from this pain that they're feeling. They're trying to distract their mind with their job or business, but it's not working. They, they need to allow themselves to feel this emotional pain in order to heal, to learn, right? Yeah, they're trying to balance their emotions, their feelings to figure out what's next. They're trying to be patient with this situation. Let's see the subconscious position. Yeah, see, this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. Yeah, 
uh, they didn't communicate with you effectively. And because the sword is pointing down and they're holding a bird on one of their fingers shows me that there's something that they didn't tell you that they kept secret from you and you found out about it, whether it was uh, a lie of serious nature or an affair, whatever it was, it was serious and you had valid reasons to let them go. And they deeply, deeply, deeply regret making a mistake. They used very poor sense of judgment. They either thought you weren't going to find out or didn't care at that particular time. Either way, they care now. Yeah, they deeply regret it. So we all make mistakes, right? Nobody is mistake free. Nobody's perfect. But the good thing is that they see clearly now uh, how deeply they regret their action or actions. This is a spycraft card. So this person is checking up on you heavily because it's in subconscious position. They're very careful how they check up on you so you don't notice, so you don't see them. But if you really pay attention, no matter how careful they are, you're going to catch them checking up on you. Wow. Let's see what will clarify this energy here. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo. And how's that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Yeah, you see? Lies, deception showing up here. So they misinformed you or hid something from you of significance. Mm -hmm. And was please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo that Leo is letting go of. And how's that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, look how empty they feel without you. So this is them holding a cup of love for you, wanting to show you love. The reason why they're so heartbroken is because they love you. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't feel heartbroken. Yeah, this is them trying to take their time to learn from this experience, uh, figure out. Uh, how to approach you correctly if it's not too late. Yeah, they are concerned because they do view you as very much single, available on the market for a relationship, attractive, independent, strong-willed. So you definitely are not chasing this person. You're not desperate for the attention. You're not needy or clingy. They respect you so much. Yeah, you're not chasing them. No, you are on your own, taking care of yourself. You have to be careful because there are some people around you that also knows, know this person that are uh, in your business trying to gossip, trying to figure out what's going on between you two. Be very careful who you call your friends, who you trust with your personal information. This person also has been trying to find out information about you from other people. Hmm. You know, yeah, whoever these people are, are toxic. Yeah, they, they really don't have your back they don't have your best interest yeah but you know who they are you, you already know mm -hmm. you know you're not in touch with them though that's interesting because your back is turned towards them so you're not really in touch with them but they still in your business trying to figure out what's going on with the two of you uh, what's going on with the two of you is between the two of you yeah so hmm. universe please show yeah look at this this just turned over Again, three of swords, heartbreak. They are devastated that it's the end of a relationship. And again, they showing up as page of swords. So they do realize, in fact, why they lost you. Yeah, they understand that you had valid reasons to let them go. They crushed, though. They really feel crushed. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Leo. Yeah, they want to manifest you back they want to be back in your life hmm this was a serious relationship yeah it was between you two yeah they've been quiet silent trying to heal from this heartbreak their pride is deeply hurt that they lost you they don't hear from you yeah you let them go you already know who these people are that are not authentic in your life you turn your back on them because you needed to because they were creating drama around this connection. Yeah. You see very clearly who's authentic and who is fake in your life. You see it. You know, as we show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo. Wow. 
Oh my gosh, they're so stressed out over this. Look how stressed out they are enormously. Yeah, look how much respect they have for you. They really have a lot of respect for you. Look how desperate they are to reconcile with you. Well, you have the upper hand in this situation, Leo. You will decide whether you want to make amends with them or not, whether you want to give them another chance or not. That's going to be up to you. Yeah, they're still holding on to you for dear life, unable to let you go, to release you. A lot of you are letting go of Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, and the sign of Cancer. Wow. Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life that showed up as King of Wands, King of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, the king of cups and king of wands energy, uh, family relationships, job, uh, business decisions, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.